Yeshua HaMashiach, our gracious Messiah, soon coming King told by the prophet Isaiah. Our Lord and our King, we bow before your throne. You who knew us before the beginning and called us your own. We call you Emmanuel. We are never alone. Jesus the Christ, oh how you redeem mankind from sin, sickness, and everything that held humanity behind. El Shaddai, Hananiah, God Almighty, El Elyon, God Most High, Elohim, Creator God, Humble Rabboni, Master Teacher, Righteous is you, Jehovah, Tasikanu, and Shama always present whenever we need you. A Ribati, a Rabata, a Rabata, a Ribati. Righteous are you. Great and mighty are you, God. We were gone forever. Pata Pata, oh our Father. Your long arm of salvation, Yeshua, rescued us, transformed us. Oh, Holy One, tell me how could the great world be, the shepherd become the sacrificial lamb, so he could search us, so he could set us free? How could the everlasting lamb become human, just so he could save me, El Gabor? All superior and mighty one. Malik, greater than every king that has a will come. I am that I am. I am that I am. Three in one. Holy God, Father, Spirit, and Son. Jaira, you are more than enough. Oh, Pata, 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 our Father. You are our rock. A hiding place, a strong tower. To you be glory, honor, forever, power. Jehovah's the boat, fighting our battles. You are the cattle upon a thousand hills. Who says and does, not just fulfilling every chapter, but every clause. Oh, opening prison doors and shutting open ones. You gave a sacrifice. So we could be called your sons. Hael Oshipalea, God of awesome wonders. With you, we don't need a rainmaker, we don't need an airbender. With you, the whole earth is a drop in the bucket. When you are the source of everything, creation suffices and rises. Are you not majestically wrapped in the clouds? Are you not he that has gone up with a shout? Oh, with the sound of the trumpet from sunrise to sunset. You do not change and you do not fade, you sure. Neither do you ask for a refund. Neither do you ask for a refund for the price that you pay. Oh, she will give birth to a son. And his name shall be called Yeshua. For he shall free his people from all sins. Ha! Masha! And thousands of years later, we shall still be in awe of you, Yeshua. And thousands of years, thousands of years later, we shall still be in awe of you, Yeshua. Lion of Judah, I 
tunde chemba Yesu Yesu together and bless the greatest God ever put your hands together and give your father some praise come on come on come on give your father some praise for everything that he's done glory be to the most high God thank you sir thank you thank you you're sure hallelujah Hallelujah. Well, on behalf and for, um, behalf of our great apostle, Dr. Sharon Arnesbitt and Dominion, 
we want to just welcome all of you. All of you. We welcome you. We welcome you for joining us in this great rush. We thank you for being here. We welcome you to, to just lift your hands and bless God. Put them together. Make a joyful noise. Open your mouth. We, you are welcome, welcome, welcome. And I know this is going to be a life-changing moment for all of you on today. Hallelujah. Well, our scripture from Joel, second chapter 25 through 27, and it reads, And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed I, I, I really like that never be ashamed <laughs> and you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else and my people shall again never be ashamed Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I stand before you today to do the decrees. Hallelujah. It tells us in Job, if we decree a thing, it shall be established. It shall be established. Hallelujah. So as I say the decree, you say it after me. My words are impeccable. My thoughts are intentional. My prayers are fierce. I receive the grace and anointing to be restored. The joy of my salvation is restored. My health is restored. My family is restored. I am free from captivity. I am made whole. I decree supernatural breakthroughs. I decree unusual encounters. Release everything that was taken from me. Repay all that was stolen from my forefathers. Without fail, I shall recover all. Without fail, I shall recover all. Thank you, God. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Good evening, Dominion. We are here to give you a testimony. Y'all can sit down. <laughs> Uh, most, as most of you don't know, me and my wife uh, was trying to uh, have a child for the longest, and you know we kept trying, kept trying, nothing happening. And so, you know, the Lord told us maybe need to try to do another route through our uh, mother, uh, mother wonder boy. And so we started to foster. So we started to foster. We fostered two boys, and then fostering them, they end up going to their grandmother. And then we ended up getting another little boy. And when he came to our home, it was in June, and within a couple of weeks, we knew that he was our son. Yes. And so, <clears throat> so we told social worker, yeah, we want to adopt Elijah. So we started the process. And so they said, well, December going to be the, the adoption date. December came and went. Then they put it to March. March is going to be the adoption date. March came and went. Then the judge told the social worker, we're going to put it to June. And if there's nothing right, somebody's going to get fired. <laughs> That's what she told him on the Zoom. So, Apostle, you don't know this, but you know when a, a blessing about to happen, you know, the image tr tried to come in. Yes. So, we was at the movies, yes. and we saw a young lady on our 
rain. And I said, let me answer this. And she said, uh, yeah, I'm with the state police. Yes. What? I said, ma'am, I'm, I'm, uh, we're in the movies. You can come back later. <laughs> you know, I did. <laughs> and she said, yeah, okay, I'll come back later. We were finna watch the movies. And I told my wife. And, and then we came home. And then she, we talked to her. She said, well, I can't come today. Well, I'll, I'll come tomorrow. But we, she talked to her. She said that someone said that you are uh, abusing Elijah. Yes. And yes. me and my wife looked at her. What? We were so shocked. We were shocked. What? We was, um, no lie, we were shocked. Yes. And so she told, told us all this and that, so we got off the phone with her. We called Elijah. I said, well, we, we look at him, oh, what's going on, you know? And, you know, we, we're going to ask him. And we said, uh, did anybody say something to you at school or something? Mm -hmm. He going to say, yeah, my teacher. I said, what? And now, listen, now, he had problems in the school as behavior. Yes. He had problems at home, but he had problems at school. Yes. And so we was trying to figure out why is he having problems at school and not at home. And that she would call us for everything. Every time he coughed, he call, she called us. But you didn't call us about something you may think. Yes. And so, well, the guy came. This was a Saturday. The guy came out Sunday. Yes. He came in our home. You know, said this is a nice home, and he talked to Elijah. He said, "Sir, I don't know why I'm here." Yes. Yes. He said, "I don't know why I'm here." So. You know, he said, we're going to close the case. She came. She checked us out. She said, I don't know why I'm here. Yes, and the only thing we could come up with is just the enemy trying to yes. block our son. Yes, yes. And, and then, and okay. then they, um, they, she told us, she said, normally it takes about three to six months to close a case. She said, but um, the, 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 the male came out first. And then he said, I'm going to tell my supervisor. She came out and she said, normally it takes three to six months. She said, but I'm about to go to the office and close this case right now. There's nothing wrong in this house. There's nothing wrong. This little boy is well taken care of. She said, we're done with this. And so we ended up adopting him. He's ours now, June 28th. He became ours. He's so excited. He's been such a blessing to our life. It's just been awesome. Yes. And I know um, we're going to tell you one more set of testimony and make it real quick um, on how God has been blessing us. Many of you know, if you've been watching and you've been in the audience, you know Apostle's been talking about financial blessings. Uh, she's been talking about believing God. She's been talking about it. And every every Sunday, she was I'm, I'm going to say for the last six weeks, she was saying, you know, believe God before August. She was saying um, in 72 hours, in one week's time, every time I'm telling you, we were getting a check in the mail. And so when she first said it, I was like, I'm going to sow a seed. I don't care. Sow the seed. We went home. Three days later, he was like, you ain't going to believe this. We got a small check. I was like, well, I believe God for the small check. We rejoiced. And so the next week, we got another check. The next week, we went out to eat. And I told my husband, I said, I'm going to bless somebody today. We play this sort of game like who can bless somebody more. So we were out eating, and I told I told my mama, I said, this waitress doing a good job. I said, I'm going to tell her, well, how, how much do you want me to give you today? What do you want your tip to be? And my mama said, well, what did she say, $1,000? I said, she say 5000 Watch me drop it on I said, watch me drop it on her like it ain't nothing. And she looked at Tim. She said, you going to let her do it? She said, the Lord told her to do it. Let her do it. So I asked the young lady, I said, how much do you want your tip to be? She was like, well, whatever you give me. I said, ma'am, I'm not asking you. Tell me what you want your tip to be. She was like, uh, $30. I said, no, that ain't enough. I said, what about $100? She said, oh, Jesus, I never had that happen. I said, no, no, no. What about $200? She was like, oh, I said, $500. Drop it on her like it ain't nothing. She was crying. She was like, I live with my grandmother. I don't know what to do. I, she was just shaking. She was literally shaking. When we got back home, two days later, we got a $2,000 check in the mail. We got a $2,000 check in the mail. Unexpected. And I'll tell you one more thing, and then I'm be done, because it's just, it's, you know, it's so good when you got to write down all the money he's been blessing you with. I mean, he just over and over. Everywhere I look, I got to hurry up. I got to hurry up. We, have that, we went to file our taxes, Pastor. We went to file our taxes. And they said, oh, they, you want me done? Oh, be done. 
Okay. Then we went to file our taxes. And they told us, we just know we're going to get some money back. We got a child. Now we know we're going to get some. So they say, he, she, the lady kept asking. She said, um, asking questions. She turned the screen on. The end of the story. The end of the story is we owed $10,000 back. And the lady said, she, we left. We were so discouraged. And she called us and she said, um, she said, I found a tax break for y'all. She said, we owe y'all $14,000. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody lift up and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the most high God. Hallelujah to El Elia. Hallelujah to the most high God. Hey, shut that up, okay? Come on, let's give God glory. Come on, stand on your feet. Come on. Hallelujah, 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 to the Lord, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 to the great I am. Hallelujah, 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 to the most high God. Oh, hallelujah, to the most high God. Come on, lift it up and say, sing hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Most High God. We sing Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Most High God. We sing Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Most High God. To the Most High God. We sing Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Most High God. Sing Hallelujah. Say Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 to the King of Kings, hallelujah, 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 to the great and mighty one, hallelujah, 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 the one that is awesome and wonder, hallelujah, 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 sing hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the most high. 
Here comes the glory of the Lord Rushing in We'll dance in your presence. We'll dance in your presence. We'll shout. 
There's nothing like his presence. There's nothing like his presence. I said there's nothing like his presence. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Come on, if you decree that glory will show up where you are. I said glory will show up where you are. Here comes. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Come on, sing it one more time. Here comes the glory. Here comes the glory of the Lord. Sweeping. Sweeping in the room. Now lift your hands and invite the glory, the kavod, the doxia of the Almighty. Let him sweep over you. Let him rush upon you. Let the elements of the angelic and the ram of glory come upon you. Remove embarrassment, hindrance. Remove religion and whatever expression the Holy Spirit wants to display through you. Allow him to do that even in this moment. 
Makie elivonku ratakalaba. Miracles are happening now. Healings are happening now. Shamano hosa. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, global siyanda leleva kota ma ya leleva sabakata. Halelebo hosa makata. Sweeping. Now, Father, we thank you for your presence and your power. We're honored that you allow us to worship and honor you. We thank you even now for the preeminence of this word that we carry light and impart and infuse your people. Let illumination, impact, and manifestation be our portion. Holy Spirit, we yield to you. Let the blood of Jesus secure us. Let the angels make it come to pass. Somebody shout glory. Come on, somebody shout glory again. Hallelujah. You may be seated in your heavenly place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bakiyamo. I am on Namasaka. Hallelujah. 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 Nano to my yakata mayanda. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. 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 What a wonderful Savior we serve. He's awesome in all his ways, mighty and amazing. Hallelujah. We bless God. We thank God for all of you that are here. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank the praise team for leading us into a place. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. We thank God for all of our pastors, our friends, our apostles that are here. Amen. The Lavenders are here again. Amen. We thank God for them. Our own Pastor Luana is here. Amen. With her church. Amen. Glory to God all the way from uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Amen. And amen. Apostle Kimberly. Amen. Is here from Houston. And Dr. Apostle Dana. Amen. And all of the rest of us. Uh, of you that are in the ministry, we thank God for you and we bless God for you. Amen, amen, amen. Thank all of you for hanging out with us last night on Minding Me. Amen. On the sand in the courts of heaven. Something was released in the atmosphere. Even before we started Minding Me, the Lord had me on this journey of encountering the angelic in a whole different way. When Dr. Ron came in yesterday and he and his staff and his wife, uh, they began to prophesy immediately what was on this house. And uh, we got to introduce now, some of you got to hold your mind to our angel, to the very angel of this house. I am not the angel of this house. So don't you ever go to a church. Apostle Rita, I didn't even see. I recognize you. I bless you. Apostle Rita Montgomery. And... Uh, We got introduced to him, Elder Jones, and uh, it's funny because he carries the glory. And the praise team didn't know, and, and most of the songs they were talking about tonight was the glory. Are you hearing me? And so, on what I thought was the last rush service... Oh, y'all got your rush on. My pastors, man of God, my pastors called me and they were like, we need to talk to you. <laughs> and uh, they was like, we got on a conference call and they was like, oh, we, we want to know if we can continue the rush services. I 
I said, well, if the majority of y'all want to continue it, I don't see why we shouldn't continue it. We get to sneak on the Shabbat, get to have a Shabbat service, amen, and uh, really round this up. We don't know how long it's going to stay. It may just be a forever service. Amen. We said after the pandemic, we wanted to do something so different. We didn't want to go back to the same old, same old. Amen. And uh, so if y'all got a problem with that, y'all got to take it up with the pastoral staff. Amen. Amen. And uh, I just believe it's God, though. I just, I just really know that it's God. Amen. And um, so let's give our foundation scripture. Woo. There are angels that are here tonight. And if you're scared of them, you better get unscared. Because you're about to live in the realm of the supernatural. And you're going to engage the angelic and supernatural things are going to be able to happen to you. I just believe we stepped into a realm where the angels are going to interact with you in supernatural things. Divine acceleration is going to happen for you. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, it's my season. Let's go out to our foundation scripture. Come on. Let it rise. Come on, sing it one time. Let the glory, let the glory, let the glory. Let it rise among us. Let the let the glory of the Lord let it rise among us. Let the praises of our King what? rise among us. Let it, let it rise. Come on, one more time. Let the glory, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord let it rise. rise among us. Let the praises of our King. Let it rise. Rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh. oh. Let it rise. Let it rise. Come on, something in you gotta get up. Come on, come on. Oh. Let the praise Let the glory of the Lord Let it rise Rise among us Let the praise Let the praise of our King Let it rise Rise among us Let it rise Oh, 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 oh Let's come on Everybody sing Oh, you got to have a level of expectation that anything can happen tonight anything can happen tonight something supernatural it's going to fall on you tonight by the time you get back home things would have shifted by the time you leave this building something supernatural will happen something is rising shifting manifesting something hallelujah it's about to be demonstrated in your life hallelujah somebody shout let it rise be seated in heavenly places come on come on come on sit down in your heavenly place 
did, did you get what I just said? You're not sitting in dominion. Y'all, that, that's the wrong response. I say you're not sitting in dominion. You're sitting in your heavenly place. Far above principalities. Far above powers. Far above thrones and dominions. Far above. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's try that again. Be seated in your heavenly place. Hey. I am up above. Hallelujah. Somebody got to stand up and do it again because you didn't get it. You still think you're sitting in dominion. Take your seat in your heavenly place. I feel the angel of the Lord here. You may be seated in your heavenly place. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The angels are here. Yep, 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 yep. Hallelujah. Amos 9, come on. Woo. I know we ain't got a lot of room like the hotel. <laughs> but whoa, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, y'all be seated. Amos 9 and 13. <laughs> Woo! place hallelujah Amos 9 13 <laughs> hi ya hi ya ya y'all stop all that hollering hallelujah <laughs> Woo. Glory. hallelujah hallelujah
Hallelujah, be seated. Amos 9. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's okay, it's okay. Because every time you break out in a praise, something shifts over your life. I'm only talking to about a hundred of you who said, I'm tired of living the way I'm living. And tonight I'm not leaving until I feel a shift. I'm not going nowhere. If I have to get a pillar and stay at this altar all night, I'm not going anywhere until I feel something shift over my life. Hey! 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 Jesus! Amos 9, 13 in the Message Bible says, yes indeed. Y'all be seated in your heavenly place. Hallelujah. Yes indeed. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed, it won't be long now. It won't be long now. <laughs> it won't be long now. It won't be long now. Take courage. Be long now. Pat yourself from the back, it won't be long now. <laughs> it won't be long now. Y'all stop, we gotta go. God's decree. It won't be long now. Can you prophesy to somebody? Just look at them. Say, it, it won't be long now. It won't be long now. It won't be long. It won't be long now. Prophesy to yourself. It won't be long now. It won't be long now. It won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long. It won't be long now. One more time, everybody shout. It won't be long now. Y'all quit messing with me. I feel the ink. Papa Hosa. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. I just saw an angel with a contract that was delayed by Sapam Kotamayanda. I saw paperwork on the table that was delayed. I just saw angels. My eyes have been open and I just saw the angels. Hey! By Monday morning, that which you have been denied of, that which has been delayed, I decree.
breathe acceleration, expedition, and manifestation. You're going to call the church and say, I just got a breakthrough. Because I feel angels of breakthroughs are here. I just said there are angels of breakthroughs. And anybody needing a breakthrough in this room, those that are watching, a breakthrough has just hit your house. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes, it won't be long now, God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim. One thing. Fast on the heels of a what? Another. Say, I won't be able to keep up. Uh, some, some of you that's got heels on need to take them off. Because you're not going to be able to run. In this next realm that God has for you. And you got to be ready. No, no, it's a prophetic act. That God, my feet will always be ready to run with you. Say, I won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. And everywhere I look. Blessings. (laughs) Every... Where I look, blessings, blessings like wine poured off the mountains and the hills. Come on, I'll never get finished, y'all. Stop. Just tell your neighbor everywhere I'm looking. I see blessings. No, no, I don't know what you see. And I don't know what mirage or image the enemy has supplanted in your mind. But I see blessings on your head. I say I see blessings over your head. Not only everywhere I look, but everywhere I see you. I see you in the mall with blessings. I see you in the grocery store with blessings. I see you on your job with blessings. I see you in your vehicle with blessings. Everywhere I look over your head. Blessings. He says, I'll make everything right again for my people. Dominion. Somebody shout. And it is so. All right, be seated. Let's see if we can do this thing. Come on, we're praying that these walls coming down so we can expand this building or either go out and build down there. Come on, hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Let's go to Hebrews real quick. Let me build a little case real quickly because some of you are really going to have a ministry that engage angels. Now, I know the church have been scared of talking about angels. And I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go to Hebrews 1. You've been scared of angels and you have been. Oh, cool, huh? <laughs> and you. And you rather talk about demons rather than angels. But tonight. Your paradigm shifts. You're going to stop fighting demons and start co-laboring with angels. I'm going to say it again. I say you're going to stop wrestling and fighting demons. And you're going to start co-laboring with the angelic realm. Because what's coming on the earth is it necessitates that we need supernatural beings to help us complete this assignment. The Bible says in Hebrews 1 verse 7, And the angel said, And the angel said, and of his angel he said, who make his angels, what? Spirits. His ministers of flame of what? 
his ministers a flame of what? Look at verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits? You know, the word ministering means diakone. It means to serve. That angels are here to serve you. And the word serve is not like you command them, but they come alongside you to help you complete things that you cannot complete in the earth atmosphere. They bring the added advantage to you. Oh, yeah, then get it. You didn't get saved just to struggle and strain and try to figure it out. You got a whole company of angels waiting to help you. We're going to see from the word of God. We just engaged in, in this ram, the angelic ram. And you're going to see not only the angelic ram, the seraphims, the cherubims. Come on, the, the, the living creatures, the men and women that in white. We're going to introduce you to, ent to entities and beings that just don't have wings. But they might look like the person sitting beside you. Because the Bible says we have entertained angels thinking they were strangers. And the Bible says they will sit here as heirs. As heirs. Now let's go to Isaiah 40. Say I'm an heir. Therefore, I have angels to help me. Complete this, Complete this assignment. I am never alone. Am never alone. So when people ask you, you by yourself, say, uh -uh. no, 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 no. I don't go anywhere by myself. Eh. Who live with you? You have no idea how many people live with me. Let's go to, I know I told you, Isaiah, let's go to 2 Kings. Let's go to 2 Kings. 2 Kings 6. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I say, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody is going to get an upgrade and something is going to take place in your spirit. Hmm. 2 Kings 6. Come on here. Mm. Y'all got it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's look at verse 14. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, verse, uh, yeah. verse 13, and he said, go and spy where he is. That I may send and fetch him. And it was told, he says, behold, he's in Dolson. And therefore he, uh, he sent hither horses and chariots and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city about. And the servant of the man of God was risen early. And gone forth, behold, a host compassed the city, both horses and chariots. And the servant says, at last, my master, what are we going to do? How many people? came in this room tonight asking what am I going to do I got this bill and I got this thing and I got this thing and you feel like you are compassed about with an army of things that are coming against you and he answered he said fear not I just shout fear not uh, get rid of the spirit of fear. Uh, you're, yeah. This is about to be the best season of your entire life. I need somebody to prophesy. This is the best season of my entire life. I don't know what God is doing, but I know I will not fear. Because the more the enemy smells your fear, the more he pours on. God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and what? Sound. Then he says, fear not that they that be with us. <sighs> they that be with us are more than they that what? 
Don't even fret about a hater or enemy. They can't handle the company you roll with. Folk that know that angels are backing them, they don't even consider a hater. You don't even consider an enemy. You don't have a response for an enemy. Uh, you, you, you're praying that God don't open their eyes. Because if, they, oh, if God opened their eyes and they see all the angels that are around you, it's going to scare the living hell out of them. So the best prayer you can pray for them is God, please open their eyes and let them know who they're messing with. Uh, I don't come by myself. They that be with me is more than they messed up and said, greater is he that is in me. And Elijah prayed and he said, open their eyes that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes and the young man. And he said, behold, ho, ho, the mountain is full of horses and chariots of fire. Chariots of fire. Seraphims. Chariots of fire. Did you know there is an angel with eyes, nothing but eyes? <laughs> Y'all get this little cheap commercialized vision of what angels is there are some angels that Hollywood can never imagine to create angel with the face of a lion the face of a man <laughs> still one being the face of an eagle and the face of an ox Then there's an angel that looks like a throne that just moves as the presence of God because God's presence always needs a throne. That's why he's never coming to your house until you create a throne for him. Where is he going to sit? Not on your couch. He needs a throne. That's why he said he's, he's on the throne of your heart. In you is a throne. Because he cannot stay in you unless you create a throne for him. Uh, okay. These angels, these angels are something serious. These are beings, entities that God used to help mankind. They were created for us. They were created to bring, come on, advancement and manifestation to the earth. They were created. One, they are immortal, eternal beings. They have the ability to, to appear in human form and disappear when their assignment is complete. Have you ever been in your, riding in your car and something or somebody or presence is sitting there and you can't figure it out? I know somebody is there. But because religion and tradition has taught us that we can't have invisible friends. It's quiet in here. Oh, you can think it's a demon, but when are you going to acknowledge the angelic? Can I tell you there are more angels in here than people right now? They carry swords. You remember when the man of God start kicking and hitting the donkey? The Bible says that an angel stood before him with a sword. So angels have weapons. Uh, you hear me? Angels have weapons. They have swords. Now, not only do they have swords, they have nets. They have any weapon they need to get their job done. Y'all think... Are y'all hearing me? They, they, there's a technology where an angel can be invisible. There's a technology where angels excel in strength. If your angel is not getting the job done, it's because you're not quoting the word. The Bible says in Psalms 103, they excel in strength, hearkening to the voice of God. That means you got to keep saying the word so your angel can be strengthened. Some of y'all angels left because you're too boring. 
Some angels will lead people when they're not living a life consistent with the word of God. Because they'd rather go back to heaven than to be perverted and polluted. Y'all, y'all not hearing me. Well, I thought my angels were supposed to stay. Yes, and you were supposed to stay in the word. And you were supposed to live holy. And you were supposed to... You feel unprotected. You feel like things are not going right. You better ask the Holy Ghost, where is my angel? Because he says he'll give his angels charge. He'll give his angels. So some of your angels have gone AWOL because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. That man angel stood, that that donkey, uh, that angel that was assigned to the donkey. said stop hitting him he stood right there with his sword the angel said who the donkey went down and he said look then the angel opened the mouth of the donkey (laughs) y'all go go to numbers 22 31 come on Because some of y'all looking real funny like you ain't never heard this before. Come on here, (sighs) y'all. Jesus. Numbers 22, verse 31. Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel of the who? Lord. Now, the angel of the Lord is different than any other angel. Because we want God to show up, but God doesn't show up. He sends this angel of his presence or the angel of the Lord. And because we don't can't discern the difference, we think when he comes in the room, he shows up. No, no, no. It takes a lot for God to come. He says, you go down and represent me. You mean to tell me we all can still stay seated and be sane if God shows up? And the Bible says if he flick his finger, worlds would cease to exist. Heaven at his throne and earth is his footstool. And you think he's going to show up? At best we can get is the angel of his presence. We're too contaminated for a holy God. Are y'all hearing me? And the Bible says that the angel of the Lord stood standing in the way. His sword drunk. In his hand and bowed his head and fell what? Next verse. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Wherefore have thou smitten this donkey uh, three times? Behold, I went to withstand thee because your way is perverse. He says, I got in your way. Half of what you're fighting is not the devil. It's your angel. The Bible says in Exodus, don't provoke the angel because he won't pardon you. That you can provoke an angel and he'll fight against you. He said, your way is perverse. Verse 32. Next verse. Next verse. And the donkey saw me and turned from these three times lest she had turned from me. Surely now I had slain thee and saved her alive. Oh, he said, I'll kill you, but I'll save the donkey. And Balaam said unto him, the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I have not known that thou stood in the way against me. <laughs> Ooh, you got to ask yourself, who's stopping me? <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. One angel, say one angel. Killed 185,000 men. One. (laughs) 
And we're talking about hybrids and all these beings coming into the earth. We've got to know how to interact with angels and call them one angel with one sword. Kill 185,000. One. Say one. As many churches as we have, with all the crime that we have, we can't get one angel to bring order to the chaos. We found out last night the reason sin is in the city is because the churches allow it. We worried about who's called apostle and bishop and who's part of this. And if we can't get together, are you hearing me? We got more churches in this metropolitan area. There is more churches in this area per capita than there is in the whole entire world. And we got more crime in this area. Why? Because the churches have allowed it. We don't believe in the supernatural. We don't believe in the angelic. No amount of political, governmental reprieve is going to happen for our nation or our communities. But it's when men and women of God who are sick of this demonic encroachment, sick of murder, spirit of murder and violence, will come together as one bride. Ah, Not a lot of prostitutes, but one bride. Where we have prostituted the anointing, prostituted the gift, prostituted, come on, and merchant and monetize our own lives but we will come together as one being and the gate of hell shall not if that's what is enough in Samuel, 2 Samuel 24 the Bible says the Lord sent one angel let's go there 2 Samuel 24 15 2 Samuel 24 15 the Lord sent one angel say one Ooh. You don't need but one. Mm-hmm. The Bible says that the Lord said, see, I want you to see this because <laughs> you need to see. So the Lord sent a pestilence upon Israel. From the morning even until the time appointed. And there died of the people from Dan to Beersheba 70,000 men. Who sent the plague? But did the Lord do it? Who did it? Well, the Lord killed him. No, the Lord didn't do it. The angel did it. See you. The angel, next verse, come on, hurry up. And when the angel stretched out his hand upon Jerusalem to what? How many angels? The Lord repented him of the evil and said to the angel that destroyed the people, it. I wish somebody else could decree that tonight. It is enough. You walk in your house tonight and all the hell and the chaos and the pestilence and disease and all the things that come against your life. You've got to step in and say it. The Bible says that the Lord repented himself of the evil and he told the angels that's enough now. The angel would have still destroyed men if God hadn't have said it's enough. And sometimes the enemy is not going to stop until you say, that's enough now. Somebody got to get a righteous destination and say, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. And the Bible says, stay now thy hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the threshing floor, Arnon, uh, uh, of the Jebusite. Are you hearing me? The angel was 
killing folk until God said. So every death is not of the devil? Sometimes folk get out of here because there was such an egregious uh, judgment against them that the angel was sent because they did not repent. You got to be quick to repent. Get rid of the spirit of pride. Because angels will fight against y'all. y'all see, y'all think y'all scared of demons? You better be scared of an angel. The Bible says 30,000 fell because they committed fornication. Oh, it's quiet in here. That the angels rule, rule that's around you are taking note of everything you're doing. They can appear in your dreams according to Genesis 31, 11. They can protect you when you travel. Exodus 23, 20. Somebody says, slow down. Nope. They camp around those who fear the Lord. Psalms 34, 7. They shut the mouths of lions to protect Daniel. And the Bible says that God sent one angel and closed the mouth of the lion. And if you step in that technology, God will close every mouth that's open against you oh, what he did for Daniel he's got to do for you that folk can't even talk about you in the secret of their bedroom God closed their mouth put a fire in their mouth when they call my name let a confusion come upon them when they call my name see my face scroll on my page let a fear come upon them God shut the mouth of the lion Shut the mouth of every naysayer, every person who is spewing cur curses after you in the name of... No, 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 no. Tell your neighbor, shut the mouth. One angel will go and shut their mouth. I, I remember early on in the ministry, we were doing all the miracles and stuff and gold dust and all kinds of stuff was happening and, and things was appearing on the wall and they said we were a cult and, and they said all kinds of crazy, y'all heard it, we were doing all kinds of crazy things because, you, come on, it takes spirit to understand spirit. Ah, the Bible says they are in the flesh, do mind the things of the flesh, but those of us who are in the spirit, we do mind the things of the spirit and we ain't got time to deal with folks that's in their flesh and I got to praying at 3 a.m. we got to praying and we got to shouting and we got to beating come on because in the spirit things begin to happen and my folks would say let us get them I said mm, we don't have to respond our angels are going to get sick and tired of them talking about us. And one by one, they either lost their ministry, they, two of them died. Two of them died. Am I telling the truth? Two of them died. It got so bad that the wife of one of the pastors who came against us called our members and said, they meeting on your pastor. Here come my sabakata. Uh, they called me and they said, they meeting on your pastor. I said, that's the last meeting they will have on me. I didn't say a word. My angel heard it and went to work. Oh, I need somebody to put their angel to work. I need you to just be quiet and let your angel do the work for you. I need the angel to fight for you. I need you to just be quiet. Uh, every enemy to your destiny is about to be silenced. Angels provide direction and guidance. I'm almost through. Y'all give me a little minute. They provide direction and guidance. Moses worked with an angel. You think Moses could deliver, feed, maintain two to three million people without working with the supernatural? 
without working with angels? The Bible says he struck a walk and water came out. No, an angel was working with him. Okay. Recently, I saw something on Facebook where when you see all these impossible feats, somebody shooting a basketball or somebody doing something, there's a man with a green suit on. It's called a green screen. And what you don't see is you can't see him. Uh, and what he does is they throw the ball, he catch it and put it in there. So they do a continuous video that it looked like it went in. They had invisible help. To the naked eye, it looked like they did something spectacular. But way back on the backside of the scenes, there's a man in a green suit called, come on, we do a, call a green screen in broadcasting that you can put any background you want behind somebody and it looks real. You're not really there, but you're projecting an image that you're there. A whole lot of us got some green men on the. You make it look good. You make it look like it's easy. You make it look like, come on, you prosper overnight. But they don't know you're working with a whole company of angels. Hallelujah. He says, behold, I'll send an angel before you. Say, my angel is going before me to keep me in my way, to keep me in the way. And bring me to the place that has been prepared for me. Ah, uh, Exodus, he says, beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. He told Moses, Moshe, I sent an angel before you. Whatever I tell you to do, you better do it because my name is in that angel. They're angels of war. Say angels of war. Angels. Joshua needed an angel to help him defeat his enemies. The Bible says Joshua speaks to the sun and the moon. Who stops the celestials? Who stops the whole universe? I just think the sun and the moon stood still. No, Jupiter, Mars, Venus. Everything in the galaxy stood still. <laughs> there are messengers, say messengers. One came to Mary and said, Hail Mary, you are highly favored. When the last time an angel spoke to you? It was so prevalent in the, in the, in the New Testament that, that Rhoda thought Peter, it, it was his angel. Yeah. 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 That you have an angel that look like you. Yeah. Yeah. People say, I saw you last night. You were in my dreams. No, I wasn't. I was asleep. You saw my angel. You saw a representation of me. Okay. All right. He said, it, come on, come on, that's Acts 12. You can read it at your leisure. The Bible says that Rhoda went to the door and th said it is his angel. When Peter wants to get out the boat, he says, is that Jesus or that an angel? What am I saying? In this rush, and the angelic is going to be introduced to you, and you got to ask God to remove the fear. Angels strengthen those in need. They strengthened Jesus before he went through his agony. Jesus said, don't you know I could call a legion of angels? Y'all quiet here. They bring encouragement. 
some song or something will come. It's almost like an angel will, will dial your radio or make a, on your Facebook down your timeline something come up that you are dealing with and it just encourages you. You'll be like, I can't make this stuff up. It's just like somebody call you or you'll hear a song or sermon or see something on the TV. It's because your angels are on the backside. Do, come on, y'all. Come on. Don't, don't act like it just happened. It's just like. No, things just don't happen. Then this, this is the one we're probably going to end on. Uh, there are angels of harvest. So there's angels that's going to bring not only the harvest of souls, but it's going to bring the harvest of your inheritance. And this is where I want to stop, come on, in this month of August because there's going to be a great wealth transfer and you're going to need the angels to help you bring in the harvest. I'm not going to be a summon. I'm only preaching to a few folk here that know it's your time and that you've been waiting all your life for this defining moment and there are angels that have your harvest. Let me, let me give you some notes. Come on. Luke 10, 19 says, pray for the harvest that the Lord will send laborers. He will send laborers, not, not just for souls. Laborers that will bring the harvest you need to complete your assignment. Your money has purpose. And until you understand your purpose, your money cannot magnify or manifest itself to you. Your purpose will monetize your life. Your purpose. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hmm. Why don't we prosper? Number one, people don't believe that God wants them to prosper. Until you realize that God is not El Chipo. He is El Shaddai. He is the all-breasted one. And he has abundance. And if you don't like the prosperity gospel, that means you love the poverty gospel. Beloved, I wish that you prosper and be in health until you understand that your soul got to prosper before you prosper. That means your will, your emotion, your choices, your reason, your, your mind got to prosper before it comes in your hand. If I can hold it in my mind, I can hold it in my hand. What I behold, I become. If you keep looking at poverty, that's all you're going to manifest. You're like a man in the mirror projecting the image. And if you keep seeing poverty, that's what you keep manifesting. And that's what your angel get mad at because all of the voluptuous things in heaven, you live like this? Number two, you never dream big enough to re that requires your dream is not big enough that it requires a miracle. If what you are believing for you can do, it ain't from God. It takes a God to do what God has called me to do. It takes a God to do what, has, what he's called you to do. Y'all keep on coming down high. Your dream ain't big enough. I said it ain't big enough. You're talking about hundred thousand? No, 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 no. We're talking about millions, billions, and trillions. Millions, billions, and trillions. No, we're out of the hundred thousand range. We're, we're out of the thousands. We get delivered from thousands. We're in millions. Get delivered from hundreds of millions. Get hundreds of thousands. Get in the millions. I said, take a leap in the millions. See, your mind got to get there. You ain't, you ain't there yet. You ain't there. You keep, you trying to wait on a lottery. You trying to wait on someone. No, an angel will do it supernaturally overnight. I said the angel will do it supernaturally overnight. Huh? No. Huh? Huh? Huh?
we were believing God for something early on. Uh, I was young and we were believing God and I needed about $15,000 and we were praying and the Lord says, just, just say that what you need. Be specific, be persistent and watch me. And I just kept saying, Lord, I thank you for the 15000 Lord, I thank you. Because see, you got to have a confident faith. To engage with the angels, you got to have an uncommon faith. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You got to learn how to hear. And if I want angels to manifest, I got to keep hearing messages about angels. And within three days, say seven or two hours. Somebody, I don't know from this day, who put $15,000 in cash on my step. If God has to bring a dog with a brown paper sack, hey, sambankata boso, rataka levenseba, let the angel of the Lord, let the angel of wealth and finance find me. But you got to be persistent. You got to be specific. What do you want? Well, whatever. We heard the testimony. She asked the little girl, how much you want in a tip? Well, whatever you want to give me. No! However you want to bless me, God. Quit singing that song. That, that's the last. Yeah, my, oh, my, yeah. Any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be saying, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, no, no. I, I need a real resounding. Uh-uh. If you desire that, then what he going to give you? The lady said, give me 30. And, and she said, no, no, that ain't enough. Can you imagine somebody asking you how much money you want? And because of pride, you say, whatever you want to give me. Huh. I was, I was, Dr. Dr. Bella was telling me a story of how she was on the plane and she was sitting beside this man and she started talking to this man. Y'all know, Neighborhood Christian Center and uh, and for a moment, she was mentoring me, and she said, this moment, this man, she sat beside him, and she started talking, and she said, what she started saying got so down in the man, he just threw her his checkbook. <laughs> See, you got to have, she said, she said, she said, Sharon, you always got to be ready. When somebody that's got resources, you got to be ready with a two-minute elevator, elevator speech. You, you got to say something that will provoke them, and then you got to carry something that will make the money in their pocket leap in your pocket. I wish I had somebody who was sick and tired of living in the same place. You got to be intentional. And he said, write the check. You didn't have to tell her what to write it for. She said, I'm going to write a number and you tell me if that's okay for you. She started writing $300,000. And he said, that's good. You don't have a dream that requires a miracle. Number three, come on, give me, give me five more minutes. I promise you I'm through. You got to take these down. You think your boss of your loved ones is your financial source. Psalms 27 says some trust in horses and some trust in chariots but we will what we will remember the name of the lord mm. ecclesiastes 9 and 11 says it's a 911 he says i return 
and I saw something under the sun that, 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 that the race is not given to the swift nor the battle to the strong neither the bread to the wise or riches of men of understanding nor yet favor of men of skill but time and chance there's coming a time where this angel of wealth and harvest is going to visit you but don't you dare miss your time of visitation and what happens it, it wraps itself in an impossible situation that it doesn't look like nobody or nothing is going to come to your aid but the swelling and the waiting is gathering the momentum and the capacity you need for the flow I'm talking and y'all ain't saying nothing because somebody feel like you're at the bottom of the barrel and this is the last of your last but tell your neighbor just keep waiting something is about to break through for you and you shall be like a tree planted by the waters and you shall be like a tree planted by the waters you shall be like a tree you'll never be broke another day in your life you'll never lack another day in your life i decree it i mandate it i legislate it i invoke it in the name of jesus i override and superimpose the spirit of wealth in your house wealth and riches shall be in your house and there are armies of angels coming to fund your project. Angels are coming to get you out of debt. Angels are coming. Ecclesiastes 10, 19, don't you ever forget this. It says money answering all things. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no answers. Let me tell you something. Look at me. All of you are wealthy in this room. All of you that's watching me right now. You have, you've been ordained to carry wealth. That's why the enemy fights you so hard. You ain't getting it. I said that's why the enemy fights you so hard I don't care how it comes I don't care what date it has on it there, there's a supernatural grace here I'm never taking my watch off that's cause God's taking time out the matter y'all miss me I said God is taking time out of your situation and an immediate manifestation is about to that's a prophetic act some of you need to take your watch off and stop putting a time limit on when it's coming it's coming now it's coming now please ask the 712 say for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense Put this as your notes. I got to give you two more. Some never even ask for a specific and significant harvest. Ask specifically. Ask persistently. Ask expectantly. Ask largely. Ask honestly. But if your mind can't handle it, your hands won't hold it. then the last one some don't believe they deserve a harvest you think you've done so much wrong that you can't get a harvest let me tell you something this is it I was in Canada preaching and as I was flying into Toronto I heard the Lord says angels are going to be there tonight and you know when the Lord talks to you like yeah 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 we got I get there and it's a large auditorium, 10,000 seater. And we're worshiping. And all of a sudden I look to my right. 
And there's a huge angel with a big blue sash. His head is outside of the building. He's about 30 feet tall. And all I can see, Mama, is his body. I can't see his head. And he's standing there. And as I look, he does this. Now, as he does it, by the time I open my eyes, there are no musicians at the instruments. There are no praise singers singing. But the angels start playing the instruments. The cymbals started. Then they had the little... The little thing, I don't know if you have it, that little bell chime thing. They had the little chime thing, and the chimes went off. And pandemonium happened in the building. Because they saw nobody playing the instruments. I came to remind you tonight, as God reminded me, angels are here. They're about to show up. Now let me tell you what happened. That night I laid hands on 5,000 people. I didn't get to my room till 4 o'clock that morning. I could not take a shower. I was so spent. Are you hearing me? We saw all kinds of miracles. And the money that came to the altar, it was simply out of this world. We don't even know where the money came from. It took him three days to count the money. I'm hungry for visitations whatever it takes dominion we're going if it takes having multiple Saturday Sabbath services if it takes us jumping and dancing until something shifts angels are here to bring your harvest what are you expecting lift your hands Write a vision and make it plain. Write the vision and make it plain with a budget. Write the vision, make it plain. Inject how much it's gonna take. Inject. Woman of God, how much it's gonna take for this next move? What is it going to take for the next building? I know you just got in that one, but what is it going to take for the next one? Because the harvest is plenteous. There's a harvest, but we need laborers to go get it. We need laborers to go get it. And we're calling for destiny helpers and those that will fund your business and those that will pay your house off because the wicked the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just and they will labor while you're sleeping they will sweat while you're in air condition uh, y'all not hearing me you're not gonna work hard in this season open your mouth and say angels of my destiny angels of miracles angels of breakthroughs angels that carry healing angels that will shift angels that will wipe out my debt I call forth for you to come and work on my behalf angel of breakthrough angel of miracles angels of healing angels of deliverance angels angels that will wipe out my debt 
angels that will help me move angels that will shift my position angels that will change my name angels that will find my children angels that will find my wealth I need you to open your mouth and be specific take the next two minutes open your mouth and ask if any man ask if he lack anything let him ask 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 whatsoever you desire when you pray the Bible says we have the tongue of angels and the tongue of men. I tell me, I go, oh, oh, Shabbat. And the bus to buy your dead, the poor side. Hey, oh, 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 Shabbat. Hey, yeah, yeah, nah, 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 nah. Lift your voice like a trumpet. Angels are here. Angels are here. Seeing who is expected. Who is serious. I feel a force. There's a financial oil being poured. I just heard the Holy Ghost say, He's pouring oil on your head. A financial oil. A financial oil is coming on your head. A financial oil is Sama. Ipakuhopaha. Bihadu. Ashika. Abakata. A financial oil is being poured on your head now. Receive it. I said, receive it. Uncommon favor and financial mentors are coming into your life. Decree it. Uncommon favor and financial mentors are coming into my life now. Host of heaven, wherever we provoke you, wherever we greed, lie, committed unrighteous acts, where we provoke the angels, Father, we ask you to forgive us. We ask that you would allow them to pardon us. Give them the weapons, the necessary weapons they need to bring speedily back as you did for Daniel, do for us. As you did for Daniel, do for us. From the first day that he prayed, the angel came on assignment, move every contamination, every blockage to our answers. In Jesus' mighty name, can you shout? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I, I, I'm going to prophesy here in a minute. But let's finish this assignment. And we're going to prophetic flow. Hmm. Sciatic nerves are being... Somebody came in with a sciatic nerve condition. It's being healed now. Sacadosius of the liver, it's being healed. Somebody's liver, you, you're having problems with your liver, and that is being healed now. Hold on. Let's get this out the way. If you've never made Jesus Lord of your life, I want to do that. You want to do that now. We're not going to take a whole lot of time. You know you need him, and you can never activate the angels. What you'll do is start acting like a warlock or a witch. We don't command the angels. We simply ask the Holy Spirit. Are you hearing me? We don't worship angels. We simply ask the Holy Spirit to connect us. That's what the Holy Spirit is doing, coming in your heart. And I want you to simply say this prayer after me. Father, I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me. I believe Jesus died, rose, ascended, and is seated on my behalf. I make him Lord of my life. Baptize me with your spirit and your fire. 
and I'll forever give you praise in Jesus name can you clap your hands for those who gave their heart to the Lord amen those that need to those that say I need a church and you want to join this ministry you can do it now we're not going to play with you I don't know if I want to be in this church or not and y'all didn't change it whatever if the Lord ain't speaking to you just come y'all ain't I'm in a whole nother realm see come on come on come on come on come on anybody else say God I need a house I don't understand all this church is doing, but I know, I know you're here. Amen. Some of you said I need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. If that's you, come. Those that are online, you have to call. There's a number on the screen, 1-866-579-5708. Amen. You want to be filled with the Holy Ghost? You can do that now. Amen. Well, y'all give God praise for this one. Go with Pastor Angie. She's going to take go with you. Amen. Glory to God. Well, let's sow a seed. Let's sow a harvest. Hallelujah. Some things can only be acquired by a harvest, a, a sacrifice. Uh, just, yeah, just hold on. We're going to get the people online here. Amen. Yeah, you can pass it. The Bible says, now see, now, now, now hold on. Your money is so supernatural, and it's a spirit tied to your money. Money is not evil. What, how, what you do with it. Are you hearing me? The Bible says you can't serve two masters. It's the only God that Elohim puts on his level is Mammon. Because it takes your heart. Money will make you do things that God can't make you do. Money will make you work 18 hours, but you can't pray 18 hours, and you dare not stay in the church for 18 hours. Money will make you wake up early in the morning and stay up late at night, but you can't pray. Are y'all hearing me? Money will make you stand in the same place for five hours, but you can't stand an hour in worship. Money will make you do things God can't because it's the spirit mammon. He said, you're going to hate me and love money. You're going to hate money and love me. And the word hate is not in that I don't want it. It's I put it in its proper place. Money is here to serve me. You are never supposed to work for money. Money is supposed to work for you. If angels are called servants, you think money is going to be a Lord? No, no, money is your servant. You ain't learned how to order it yet. Money is serving you even in your sleep. No, you scared to say it. Say I make money in my sleep. And so when you understand money is spiritual, you'll understand that when I sow it, I'm honoring God first. So tithing is an honor system. Whether you want to say it's under the law or under grace or whatever, if you jump off this building, is grace going to catch you? Y'all quiet in here. You broke a law called gravity. And so, settle that for once and all in your heart, that whatever I get, I'm going to honor God first. That means first, the first principle. And guess what? The angels start taking note. 
And guess who rebukes the devourer? Your angel. Because he saw you give your tithe. Y'all quiet. Okay. Y'all, y'all can stay right there. There's ways you can give on the screen. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Man, I'm seeing all kinds of contracts. But I'm seeing a governmental check coming. Something from the government that's been held up. And though we don't really push for government money, this is owed to you. And God has released the angel to release that to you. In the next 15 days, you will have that check. I just saw that. I just saw an angel go in a federal building and push a button on a computer. Come on, lift your seat. Father, we thank you as we bring our tithes and offering at your feet. We thank you for the release of the angelic rams that will, that will protect and bring provision. We thank you now as we have obeyed. We thank you for the protection of the tithe and the offering. Father, we give you praise and we give you honor in Jesus' name. Shall I'm abundantly supplied? I'm abundantly supplied. I'm abundantly supplied in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Now y'all go ahead and give. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all can just pass it. Amen. So we won't have uh, the crowding. Amen. Well, it's been our honor. Amen. It's another August rush. Amen. Don't forget, we'll be up praying Monday morning. Amen. And then back here Wednesday. And guess what? Next Saturday, we'll be right back here. Amen. The reason we're here is because the convention center is, is booked. Uh, so we said we're coming in the house. Amen. So they're just going to make us go ahead and pull this money in, go ahead and build the next facility. Amen. Amen. That's what it's going to do. Amen. So we give God praise and we give him honor. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you. May he lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you for joining today's virtual worship experience. Are you looking for a church home? We'd love to have you join our Dominion family. If you're interested in joining Dominion, we invite you to call us at 1-866-579-5807 or visit us at dominionworld.org and one of our ministry partners will be reaching out to you soon. You don't have to wait until next Sunday to hear from us again. Stay connected with us across our social platforms on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram to keep up with all that we do. Power up with prayer on Mondays at 5.30 a.m. Virtual worship experiences on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. and, of course, Sundays at 8.30 a.m. All times are central. Have a supernatural week.